All right, guys, let's tear open the box of the Xiaomi Mi A1, which basically stands for Android One. This is a device that uh, Google teamed up with uh, Xiaomi to bring you stock Android uh, at, a, at a very affordable cost and uh, still packing some serious, serious features. So we're gonna get this box open, get it unboxed, and I'll give you my first impressions and a quick hands-on. I've been really anxious to try the, the Xiaomi Mi 1 A1 because it's a stock Android phone with very nice hardware. This is probably gonna remind me of the OnePlus because of the way it's built and designed by you know who. So let's get this open here. And I was actually pretty excited about this. So when you take the cover off, your face with the device. Now pay no attention to the color. I actually picked this color because I didn't want a gold one and I didn't want a black one. So let's see if I can get this open here. And that is pink. Seriously rose gold. <laughs> let's peel this cover off. I can tell you that this is a very lightweight phone. So after getting that off, you see how beautiful that is. You've got a fingerprint reader here on the back, which isn't a button, it's just a fingerprint reader. And then you've got dual 12 megapixel cameras with a dual tone LED flash over there. And you gotta understand how great that looks. And then you've got some branding down here and FCC, things like that. And then you've got some antenna lines along the side. On the top, you've got the SIM tray. And on the bottom, You've got a headphone jack, type C, a speaker, and a microphone down there. And on this side, what do we got? We got a power button and a volume rocker. But on the top here, there's also something that a lot of us probably want. That's an IR blaster. Wow. So Google decided to give it to this phone of all phones, or Xiaomi, I should say, when they teamed up with Google. The reasoning behind some of the, the thing, decisions that are made, I don't know. So here is the SIM ejector tool. And then in the box here, looks like you got manuals on this side. And then on this side, you just have the charging brick and a type C. And this is the international global model. So I'll need to use just my standard turbo charger of my own. So I'm gonna get this powered up here, signed in, and then I'm gonna tell you how I felt about it. On the boot up here, you do have the Android One logo with all the little Google uh, colors there and you've got the me logo down there as well this is going to be a stock device folks this is a very clean slim design definitely feels exactly like an iphone 7 plus or a one plus five and that's a positive thing it's actually feeling really premium so let's get this thing signed in here this is a 5.5 inch 1080p display this phone has four gigs of ram 64 gigs on board storage a snapdragon 625 a 3080 milliamp hour battery that's sounding pretty good. It should be running Nugget right out of the box. And it's also going to update to Android Oreo. So we'll see how that works. Let's get it signed in. So setting up the fingerprint reader is actually pretty fast. It's about six to seven taps. And you're all set. So I've got it all fired up here. Um, and this is how it comes after you sign in. I don't have any applications or anything signed on here yet. So I wanted to show you just how much memory was available. And it's not a lot actually. Of the 64, only 8.43 gigs is used, and you have uh, of the 58.24. So uh, there's a there's a lot of memory left on here. This is just a bare bones stock uh, experience. There's already a security patch for October, and I know that because well, it says it right here, October security patch. There you have it. So right now I am on looks like uh, the August security patch. So that's a positive thing, um, but there's nothing to it, man. This is a stock Android device and I think it, it's actually gonna do very well. Uh, I do like stock Android and you can see the app store is already installed and everything because this is the global version, which is a plus. So uh, let's uh, take a look at the cameras before we get out of here. You know, I like to give you a little sample of the cameras. This actually, this this rolls gold is actually pretty cool. It's not it's not too bad. Um, it's actually deeper than the rolls gold on the iPhone. Uh, but let's check it out here. The fingerprint reader is actually pretty decent. Not the fastest, but it is fast. There you go. 
but the slimness of this phone, the sleekness of this phone is actually pretty nice. So I'm pretty excited to finally get this in, man. I've been waiting on this. I wanted another stock Android device. And yes, I did pick the rose gold color because I didn't want a gold phone and I didn't want a black phone and I wanted a white front. So easily cover that with a case if I start to get annoyed with it. But there it is. Let's take a look at the cameras right now and then we'll get out of here. All right, so here's the rear camera of the Xiaomi Mi A1. This camera does record in 4K. And I would say this is actually a pretty decent camera. What do you guys think? We'll try the zoom. That's not too bad on zoom. It's actually pretty decent. Let's zoom out here. That's actually pretty good. Better than I thought it would be. So this rear camera is actually really nice. I'm actually really impressed. Rear camera on the Android One, Xiaomi Mi A1. You get a sense of the quality of the audio as well. So here is the front camera. This is actually a really good front camera. I'm actually kind of surprised, um, but um, here it is, just a quick sample. Android One. All right, so that camera footage actually looked really, really good. I've seen people say that the cameras on here are not the best, but I was actually pretty impressed with that. What do you think? I decided to go ahead and set it up and load up all my applications and everything and get it set up the way I would normally have a phone set up for now. Got social media and everything, business files, everything set up, just all the apps that I'm gonna put on here are probably on here, except for those few stragglers. And what I've seen uh, just in a short time of playing with it, the performance is actually gonna be pretty good. Now, some of you are gonna ask, does it work with LTE in the US? And the answer is, I picked up 3G in my office. So if um if I leave my office, I bet I probably could get HSPA Plus or possibly 4G. Uh, when you go into the network settings, uh, it already picked up all of T-Mobile's uh, information. I didn't have to do anything. Uh, I just went into here and you can see it's set to 4G. They don't use LTE, so to speak, over there. Uh, you can see it's got 3G, 2G, and LTE. So the bands are there. So that means that my Cricut account will probably definitely get 4G. Uh, and uh, you can see it automatically picked up the T-Mobile band that I need. So uh, I'll be posting a full review on this soon. I do have my uh, lots of SIM cards, so I swapped one of them in here. I actually put my main SIM card in here and took it out of the V20, uh, excuse me, the V30 for now. Uh, but there it is, man. This is the uh, Xiaomi Mi A1, which is Android One, a stock Android phone for 200 bucks. This is available to purchase on GearBest. So hit the link in the description. You can pick up yours. It's your man, Jay Will. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.